everyone, this is HDS Kesky here. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Now, for today's video, as you guys I'm sure can tell by the thumbnail and the title and just looking right in front of you at the game, we are going to be playing Animal Crossing. And Animal Crossing is actually something I've never played. When the original one came out years ago, I never played it before. Let me know in the comments down below, have you guys either A, played the original Animal Crossing, or B, played this Animal Crossing, or C, like me, having never played any Animal Crossing. Uh, that is me, never played it before. I don't know what to expect. I've only seen a few videos of it, but I know that all of my friends are currently playing it. And as I'm sure some of you at home are experiencing as well, there's a little more extra time than I thought we all were anticipating in our lives. So I thought it was the perfect game to play. Also let me know down below if you want to see either A, more Animal Crossing videos. I, I hope that I enjoyed. I'm sure I will. Or B, would you also like to see some other gameplay of different games? If you want to see a different game, let me know down in the comments below. But without further ado, let's jump in to my very first Animal Crossing ever. So I've already loaded up the game right here, and we've got Timmy talking to us. Good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. They are very excited. They are like freaking out right now about how excited they are to have me. There is so much to look forward to, but first let's introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. I don't know what Nook Inc. does, but apparently they sell islands or something like that. And I'm Tommy! Is he with Nook Inc. though? Because Timmy was, but anyways, doesn't matter. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Let's get started! Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? All right, well, we gotta go with the cool name, which is just Husky. So we're gonna do H-U-S-K-Y. Nailed it. Are you okay with Husky? Well, I sure hope so, because that's the name of my YouTube channel, my Twitter, my Facebook. All right, so what's your birthday? And for those of you who don't know, I am born on Star Wars Day, which is May 4th. Get it, since May the 4th be with you. So every May 4th, there's lots of like Star Wars references and stuff, which by the way, the coolest birthday to have ever. I believe in this game too, on your actual birthday, you get like a birthday party or a cake or something, I'm assuming. I'm assuming, because we have made a cake from this game before. Ah, uh, yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Husky. Can you imagine if they were like, wait, no, you're actually not showing up on our records and you don't have enough money in your digital account to buy this? So if you could leave, please, that'd be great. Oh, I didn't read that, but I'm sure they're gonna figure it out. Uh, we'll be ready when you are. Choose your style! Alright, well they want to take my picture it looks like, so let's try and make this person look like me. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, I haven't been in the sun in over five years, so we gotta go with the pastiest one they have. Hairstyles, we are kind of limited here. I'm <laughs> my hair might look like this if I, if I let it grow out and I don't do anything with it. But, no, none of these are really like my hair. So it's either that one or this one. We're gonna go with this one, because my hair kinda gets a little long. And if I let this hang down, it's like kinda, it kinda got some bangs going on. But I'm trying to decide, I'm looking at myself on the camera, on screen, am I more of this yellow? Or am I more of the white? I think it's getting yellow right now, actually. It is a little yellow on the yellow side. Sometimes it goes pure white, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And then, oh, we can change your eyeballs. I mean, <laughs> this is me, this is me really tired. Oh man, how many- they- the eyeball choices, I mean, they are- they are basically endless. Okay, that is- that is a little too wired. That's like having too much Red Bull. So which one's kind of normal? I mean, these look normal-ish. I, I mean, I don't have like very big eyes, I feel like, in real life. So we're gonna go with that. And it already kind of knows my eye color, but my eyes are more of like a gray-blue. Yeah, those kind of look like my eyes. Not a lot of options here on the smile. Okay, I do not have a tooth sticking out the front of my mouth. If I did, you guys would tell me, right? Alright, so we got that. And then I don't think I have- uh, we're just gonna go with a round nose. The nose are pretty limited. I don't blush a lot, so I'm not really gonna be into that. So uh, we are just gonna go ahead and do the no blushing. And I mean, I think that's it. This looks about as much like me as I think we can get. All right, well, they're very excited about this picture. I'll just go ahead and add that. And now let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want to, you can even experience the seasons in the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Well, I'm in LA, so there really is no season. So tell me, Husky, where do you live now? I'll say North America. I have a feeling, though, Southern California's climate much different than the rest of the country. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? I mean, I suppose. I suppose that it does. What would happen if I say I'm not sure? Like, I don't know if it sounds good that I live in the Northern Hemisphere. Very good, we have a number of lovely uninhibited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. 
Now then, all of your islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural, so don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. Whoo! I'm trying to keep up with our fast talking. I'll show you some of the maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. He likes to repeat stuff. All right, so I don't know if these are randomized or not. I'm not too familiar with the game, but I feel like this bottom right one is is pretty legit. I mean, we've got water everywhere. I don't know if water's annoying or not. I really don't. So we're just gonna do that one. I don't I don't know how this affects the gameplay whatsoever. But I'm just gonna take it. I can't wait to show it off to you! Ah, but before we depart, I have one final question for you. Why is he so sad about it? If you could only bring one thing with you to a desert island, what would it be? Mm, a cell phone? Oh, they're over here. These are the options. A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, something to kill time. Well, given how much we're gonna be at home lately, I'm gonna say something to kill time. That is for absolute sure. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hy hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. All right, so they, they're trolling. They're out here trolling. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook's Inc.'s Desert Island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. All right, I guess, I guess we can do that. They are so excited. My goodness, this customer service is top notch. Oh, here, I gotta, I gotta try to do my captain voice. Oh. I wonder how long this flight is. Can you also imagine it's a 12 and a half hour flight and you literally are like, and they're like, you can't get out of your seat unless you have to go to the bathroom. All right guys, here's the video. How'd they know I wanted to dye my hair pink? There's fishing, catching bugs, standing outside. Watering flowers. All right, well, I'm sold. I'm absolutely sold. This kind of feels like it's the end of the game, but it's not. It's only the beginning. I don't know if you can actually beat Animal Crossing. Oh snap, we are flying in and it is snowing already. So not like Southern California. I I know we have Big Bear where it does snow, but that's definitely not where I live. All right, that was on Dodo Airlines, which they went extinct. I don't know if naming your airline that's the best idea. We're here! Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move able to follow us. All right, well, I guess I should follow them. Excuse me, coming through. I'm gonna go find it. Whoa, there's pears. Wait, is it over here? Is it over on this side? Ah, that looks like a fearless leader to me. What up, fearless leader? All right, that everyone? Let's see. Is Tammy here? I'm not Tammy. That is definitely not me. And how about Hamlet? Tammy and Hamlet, those seem to be my resident friends. And there's Husky, of course, they know me by name. It's great. Word gets around. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? I think they would have planned this out, maybe. Yes, of course, welcome everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life in this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes! I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and, ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? I'm going to be living in a tent in the snow. That seems very cold. Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. I wonder if Timmy or Tommy has a better tent. Going to assume they're the same. Here you go, Husky. Your very own tent. All right. I hope it's insulated because it is quite cold right now. Once you find the perfect spot, press X access your inventory, and then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. I don't know what they mean by breathing room 
or why I need it, but hey. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. That would be helpful. That would definitely be helpful. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. All right, well, I have a feeling I'm going to be talking to these guys quite a bit, so I'm not going to go too far. They did say some breathing room, but also I want to live near civilization. So, I mean, I feel like we've already found our spot. We're going to build this bad boy right here. Uh, let me, let me imagine it. All right, let's see what it looks like. What color tent do I got? It is a yellow tent. That is a bright tent. And it comes with a mailbox. That's nice. Is this a good spot? All right, sure. I mean, I really don't know enough about this game to know if it is a good spot or not. So we are going to find out. Woo! I set up my tent. That's a big first step. You know, that positive self-reinforcement is really what this is all about. All right, let's go check out what these guys are doing. Ah, Husky, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. And since obviously I'm an expert at placing these tents, that I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, here's one of them. What was this one's name again? I already forget. Hamlet! It's kind of a fun name, actually. Yo, I'm Hamlet. Wait, I got a couple of names for these guys. Yo, I'm Hamlet. <laughs> so what this guy would sound like? You're Husky, right? Nice to meet you. Hammy. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got a lot of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Husky? I mean, it looks great. I'm just going to be honest, it looks great. Hey, so honest? Okay, how about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... All right, guys, imagine it. He's putting the tent here. And this is what it looks like. I'm not actually looking at the screen, so I don't actually know what it looks like. Here we go. Pretty cool, right? Can't even see it. It's hidden behind the tree. But you know what, buddy? Hamlet, it looks great. We're all we're all very happy for you. All right, looks like we have a winner. I'm going to put down stakes right here and never look back. Hammy. He likes to say his own name. I, I can get behind that. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. I wonder how what that Tammy is doing. I wonder how that Tammy is doing. I can read. I can read, I swear. She might be having as much trouble as I was, so maybe she go see if she needs help. All right, where is this lady? I mean, am I... Oh, she's up here. All right, this is pretty easy. Whoa, why are you so shook? You're, wait, I got it, don't tell me. You're Husky, right? See, I told you I had it, I'm Tammy. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, you heard? You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I could just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. That's how I choose where to live, is I just take a stick, just throw it, and hope that house is for sale. And I can't throw very far, so really it's kind of a limited range. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only far I can throw a stick, but I'm liking this. Looks, ta you know, you know, Tammy, it just looks, it looks great to me. For real, you heard? Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, all right, guys, are you visualizing it with me? Are you visualizing it? Again, I can't see it because my eyes are closed currently. Looks nice, don't it? Wait, I kind of like, I kind of want that blue tent. I really like that blue, I'm gonna be honest. It kind of matches my sign back here. Oh, that's that's opposite. It's over here. <laughs> kind of matches my sign. Awesome, for now on, this won't be just anywhere on the island. It's gotta be my home sweet home. You couldn't have picked a better spot. You rock, you heard? Hold up, does this mean you helped Hamlet with his tent too? Whoa, you're seriously an awesome person. I gotta be honest. When we first got here, I was kind of worried there were way too few of us. But if we get to live here with someone like you, I can totally rest easy in the freezing frigid cold in a tent. I don't know if they're going to be resting easy, but we'll see. Oh, everyone else is probably waiting on us, so let's get back to the plaza. You heard? I kind of like that she likes saying you heard. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm? Ready to get a feel for how it suits you? And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. I wish I was at a point in my life when I was throwing island warming parties. That sounds incredible. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Tammy, Tommy, and Hamlet can set up things here in the plaza. Timmy, Tammy, Tommy. It's got to make my mind explode trying to remember all that. Meanwhile, Husky and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. You know, they said they're going to provide everything for us, and I feel like if they don't have firewood, that's not an essential that they have, and they should definitely have that. But that's okay. I'm here to help. All right, Husky, let's do it. Husky, would you come see me for a moment? All right, he's going to give me these marching orders, I feel like. What have you got for me, buddy? Ah, Husky, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying in the ground, just press Y to pick it up. 
Meanwhile, I'll investigate the pear-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real pears. All right, well, you go investigate that, buddy. I know it's uh, it's a lot to think about, but here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that stick. All right, so that's stick number one, stick number two, stick number three. I mean, we, we're just we're just picking up sticks here, man. One of my favorite childhood games. I think that was five. Gotta be honest, I kind of lost count because I was a little bit distracted. I believe that this is six, seven, any over here, eight. Guys, let's have, what happens when you go in water? Okay, you can't actually go on water. Apparently I got sticks and clump of weeds. I don't know why I'm carrying around weeds, but I do not recommend doing that at home, you guys. That just does not seem like a great idea, but you know what? My guy wants a clump of weeds, he gets a clump of weeds. All right, I'll pick up that one. How many I got? Eight, so I need two more, two more. Anybody got any of them sticks? There's nine and there's 10. All right, what do you got for me over here, buddy? I got all your sticks. Ah, welcome back. I trust you had some success foraging tree branches. Very well, allow me to lighten your load. Here's, here's 10, 10 sticks. Yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh, -ho! and speaking of surviving on desolate islands, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like pears, they smell like pears, and they even taste like pears. I love that he tried eating them without actually knowing fully what they were. Also don't recommend doing that. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine pears. So would you collect six of them for me? Now I'm sure that you don't need much guidance here, but just in case. If you see a drawer of pears, press A to shake it, then just pick the fruit up. I'm sure they'll have plenty of pears for us in no time. All right, well I saw a pear tree over here, so I think I can just shake this bad boy. Yeah, give me them pears. I keep hitting that wrong button. I'm gonna get used to it eventually. All right, we got three pears from one tree and there's another tree over here. This is, this is the quickest quest ever. Give me them pears. Give me all them pears. All right, we got six pears. That was super easy. Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those pears off your hands and get you started on the preparations. More like the pear parations. Am I right, guys? <laughs> uh, my jokes are bad, by the way. Just as an FYI. Oh, it's nighttime. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe that it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oh, snap. That is one killer bonfire he's about to set up. This party is absolutely lit. Every And the crowd goes mild. That is a thrilling start to this party. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I participate in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. I mean, lighting up those sticks, that that's top three most exciting moments for me as well. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly trust my business acumen and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? oh -ho! Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned. Wait, is he saying that he did not sell as many tickets as he thought he would? Did I, I, I should have read the Yelp reviews before coming here actually. Why, why did everyone else back out? But that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge and I have no doubt. I like how they're telling me now, it's gotta be more work than we had expected or even wanted really. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape the deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But we, what should we call it? Wait, do I have to name the island? I've always wanted to name an island. I sense a great opportunity as the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it! Oh, snap. And in spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think about when everyone is ready. I'll present your ideas. Suggest a name for the island. You can't change this later. This may be seen by other players. It will definitely be seen by other players. Don't include personal info or offensive words. All right then. Well, you know, I'm not the most original when it comes to this stuff, guys. So let's just do uh, Husky Town, maybe? Oh my god, it actually says the letters. No, that's that's Hua, which is also a great, a great name, but that is not... Why is me clicking on letters so difficult? That definitely says Hux. Husky Town. Oh, we're gonna confirm that name. You cannot go wrong with Husky Town. All right, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. All right, so we know what mine is. What did they come up with? They got Buffer, Tim Town, Nukutubia, Guitar Bro. Guitar Bro, he really likes guitars. What splendid variety? Yes, yes. Each one a potential winner. And now for the voting, I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Husky seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Oh, do I? Let's start there. So Husky suggested Husky Town. Just, just they love it. Oh, they love it. Everybody's clapping. This guy even holding a flag. He's, he's clapping with one hand. 
Everybody's really into it. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, are you guys clapping at home? Are you? You should be. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we can just go with Husky Town. Woo! Very original name. It rocks, says the one left. Splendid, then from now on, this island will be known as Husky Town. Well, Husky, since you've proven yourself naming Husky Town, I've really proven myself. I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Husky Town! So I'm like mayor now all of a sudden? This is great. Husky, could you please say a word or two to the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Howdy, a word or two, you can count on me. Well, I'm always one for really just taking direction and very literally doing exactly what I'm told and nothing more, so a word or two. Is what I'm telling people. They, they love it. They love my speech. Hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island and we've selected our resident representative. I've been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. What? Where did these drinks come from? Oh, this party's getting lit. Oh, what? We should have been drinking these before, I feel like. That's okay. Everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from pears. Pear juice drinks. Is that good? Would a pear juice drink be good? I don't know, guys. I've never had it. Then without further ado, a toast to Husky Town and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. So, guys, if you're having pear juice at home, I mean, cheers to Husky Town. This party is freaking awesome. This guy's got a tambourine going. Hamlet, I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually get to live here. Hammy. I feel like... Didn't Rosanna have a hamster named Hammy? I feel like she did. What's this lady up to? A party around a campfire and a desert island. Wow, now this rocks, you heard? What else do you guys have to say to me? Husky Town, Husky Town. What a great name. Just rolls right off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. They really, really like the name Husky Town. Can I look at this stuff? Can I take these boxes? What do we got in here? Wait, wait can I pull this stuff? Ugh, I'm trying to pull it. Nothing's moving. Nothing's moving. All right, so let's go check out our tent. I haven't actually been inside of our tent. This might be a good uh, good thing to do. Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. I, I can't even go in my tent yet. Tom Nook just really wants to chat it up here, so we're going to go over here and see what Tom Nook is up to. Ah, Husky, having a good time. Yes, I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like talking, taking, not talking, taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Maybe I'll go do that. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. A... Uh, he gave me a leaf. It's your very own camping cot. Would not have got that from the fact that it looks like a leaf. Uh, you'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and if there is a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm, there's a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the other things, press it up, press A. Hey. And then when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Husky. All right, so no bed, but we got a cot. And a cot's like almost a bed. Let's crawl inside because it is indeed a tent. Let's check out this tent. Let's see how luxurious this tent is. All right, you know, it's a tent you can walk in, at least. Whoa, I just like, I just punched that box and out came a radio. Wait, can I, the radio is on. Now we're gonna leave it on. This, this news broadcast sounds great. What is this? Ah, we got a little lantern, all right. Can I pull this thing around? Oh man, I'm, I'm spinning this thing all over the place. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and organize here pretty soon, but first, let's throw down the camping tot. Camping cot. There's no room to put anything here. What? What are you talking about? Okay, what about here? What about here? Can we put the camping cot here? Yeah, there it is. It's like almost a bed. Whoop! pow we are sleeping. Rest my head for a little while. Oh, we are definitely resting. I'm getting sleepy. I would like to invest in a blanket, however. I don't know if that's possible, but hopefully I can like get a change of clothes, get a blanket, hopefully a real bed at some point. That sounds wonderful, but I think this is probably a good place to stop the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. I am thinking of making way more Animal Crossing videos. This is actually really fun, and I'm kind of curious to see what this dog is going to tell me as I sleep. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Why is this guy? Is he, is he in my dreams?